Hello. Say hi to you too. Hello. How are you? Carlos. <laughs> Yo. Say hi to you too. Hey, you too. <laughs> <laughs> we got boy named Sue over like here. Oh. And uh, he's actually the reason why I had to eat the blue. <laughs> He's gonna do it, guys. Oh. He's gonna do it. Oh. He's gonna do it. Oh, yes. I see feathers. Of course. Oh. It's blue. Oh, come this on. Is, come this on. is disgusting. This is awesome. It's cooked, by the way. At this point, it's cooked. And, and there are the eyeballs. See, you see the eyeballs. Oh. Hey, guys. I don't know why Chubby is making me do this, but this is pretty freaking gross. You know, this, you know the Asians are laughing at you right now? <laughs> I'm not Asian enough, I guess, but oh, <laughs> I fell into a trap. <laughs> Even though Chovy fed me it's the balloon, fault. but this guy came up with the idea, so I'm gonna get him back. <laughs> so if you guys have something really nasty and gross for me to feed him. Comment down below. Make sure it's edible. Oh yeah, it's gonna be edible, of course. <laughs> hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Move Outdoors. Today I'm out here at Half Moon Bay, and uh, as you guys can tell, I'm, I'm in my old town Top Water 120 PDL. Um, I actually wanted to take this boat out to offshore a couple times now and uh, both times I got blown out so I did not even get on the water so today uh, we're doing some salmon fishing the condition is going to be a little sloppy uh, we're looking at about 5 to 7 foot swell so I think it's a really good day to test out the uh, top water 120 with some swells see how it can handle the swells so we'll see uh, we got a whole bunch of people out here today we got my buddy Carlos Young boy named Sue Ensei Tommy Bradley Nick is gonna be on the water soon who else Josh man Eric so many people so hopefully uh, we get we get some action we get lucky we are here. Going out of the harbor right now, and uh, already we can see some squirrels. So, hopefully, it's not too bumpy. My GoPro camera did not do any justice capturing the size of the swell. The swells were actually much bigger than what you guys see on the screen. It was about 7 to 9 foot swell. And if you ask anybody who was out on the water that day, they will agree with me. Even if it's a 7 to 9 foot swell, if they are far enough apart, they wouldn't be too bumpy, but the, the frequency of the swell, uh, because of the secondary swells in between, made it bumpy this day. Any fish, not even a junk fish, not even a, not even a jack smell or a croaker. Wow, completely skunked. Woo. It's a rough day. Cook for five hours for salmon. Not even a scratch. 
then I didn't want to go home empty handed so I did some jigging for Linka and I had like two nibbles and that's it not even a Linka today wow wow but on the bright side it was a nice day uh, to take the uh, top water 120 PDL out because uh, it was pretty swelly. Uh, one of my concerns about this kayak is even though it's really wide, 36 inches wide, uh, the seat is really high as well. So even this wide is top heavy. So I, uh, I really wasn't sure how it will handle a high swell situation but it actually did really good it didn't feel comfortable as my Revo uh, it's, but that's probably but that's probably because I'm not used to this boat yet like I'm used to my Revo because I fished out of my Revo 11 for like 4 years and now I have my uh, Revo 13 for many months it's because, probably because I'm not used to this uh, but so I was not as comfortable as my Revo but I did not feel uncomfortable at any point though so uh, I just need to gain more confidence uh, in this boat and uh, ooh, five hours of trolling that was a hard hard work uh, obviously my Revo is really narrow uh, it glides through the water really well so um, I could throw in that thing I could throw for eight hours uh, before I get really before I get uh, really tired but after five hours of trolling uh, trolling with this man I was tired I was done so that's why I decided to do jigging uh, for link cut instead because I could not uh, throw anymore I need to take a break I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same case for either Kobe Pro Angler or Native Titan I mean all these boats are really wide and uh, they're not as efficient like you know Vivo is so but going offshore trolling against the big swell uh, this can this boat can definitely do it no doubt about it being 12 foot long I would say 12 foot is uh, long enough uh, typically not long enough for the offshore and uh, even though I'm sitting up high very top heavy uh, the extra stability on this boat paid off for it this is going to be my uh, offshore review of Old Town Top Water 120 PDL. And uh, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Go outside and enjoy the outdoors.